A surprising aspect of nasal consonants is found in words like pink, dank, and funk. Um, when we look at these words, um, because of the influence of spelling, we often believe that we're going to use the consonant n, like nice. Um, but we won't. Um, what we're going to find is that we're actually going to use um, the engma. And if we compare words, we can sort of see why. Uh, if we compare pink to pin and ping, pin, pink, ping, pink, we see that ping and pink are more alike. Likewise, if we look at dunk, and we compare to done and dung, done, dunk, dung, dunk, dunk. We're gonna find the angma. Uh, and then uh, with a word like sank, uh, we're not gonna find the syllable san in sank. We're actually gonna find sang, sang, sank. So when you do what I lovingly refer to as ink, ank, and unk words, uh, remember to use the engma. Uh, I think it's important, and I think you'll thank me in the end. Let's practice some more words. Sing, sink, ring, rink, sting, stink, sang, sank, bang, bank, Bung, bunk, flung, flunk.